to welcome everyone on this webinar how to get guaranteed ongoing positive pr for your care homes or care provider or care services even if you don't think you've got good enough stories uh, i'm going to put the timer on this will be brief so um please be ready uh, hopefully there will be no zoom glitches uh please be ready take notes um turn off any of those blasted note notifications because we'll get through this pretty rapidly now i've got here ask questions uh, in chat but i think chat's disabled so put them in q a that would be wonderful okay who am i well i'm founder of swing up pr but we will be just to clarify we'll, we'll be at 20 minutes uh, i'm founder of swing up pr we uh, help aspiring care providers become famous uh, particularly via PR to help get more inquiries and staff. Myself and my team have literally collated, written and pitched hundreds of care provider stories to the press. So why press coverage? Why PR? Well, usually it's to showcase your homes or your services in order to increase their profile and reputation will get the word out there is a common phrase that I hear. Why? Because you want to impress, in particular, prospective families, uh, perhaps you're looking to increase your occupancy faster, or else, and pertinent for these times, it is to recruit carers and be seen as an employer of choice. Questions as we go in Q&A, please, I'll come to them. Any questions at the end? So how often... Should any, I repeat, any of your care homes or individual care services be able to secure positive press coverage? Well, the answer is the minimum once every six weeks or two months. That's per care home. Um, and let's be clear which media we're talking about. Usually for, its, for care homes and care providers and care services, it's the regional uh, media that's most important to them. Why? Because that's where their families and their stakeholders and their VIPs and influencers and word of mouth reputation boosters all are. So that will be the regional press, including regional television and radio and online. Now, one important element when you're thinking of getting the word out there and showcasing your great quality of care, think digital PR as well. I'll be coming to this, but this in particular can be Facebook boosts um organic facebook posts do not cut it often right now i'll come to this a little bit later but every six weeks straight two months uh, you should be able to get journalists to write great stories about you and by the way journalists love good care provider stories i repeat they love them why because there's a great local interest there's a healthcare interest, there's a dementia uh, care interest, there's a provision of care for our el the elderly people predominantly in our society. There is a public interest, and if you've got great care stories, which I know 100% you do, journalists love to hear about them. So that is really in your favour. So what do we mean by press coverage? Well, here you go. This is just a snippet of some example. Uh, please note the one wonderful photos they do make such a difference as you can see often these photos can make a difference between um yeah you see where my cursor is here full page uh this is the printed press full page stories uh all of them here massive difference that great photos can make now i'm going to go into some pr secrets uh, myself i'm a former journalist i made my living actually pitching sending stories into the press so number one write that story on a plate for a journalist i'll come into examples on this questions remember in q a write that story on a plate you want the journalist who are pitching your story to to copy and paste that story yes there are certain skills for that but that's ultimately the position you want to get to in that way you have complete control of the message and the story so i'm going to give you some real life examples i said i would and here they are um this is uh, a story on a plate and it's a good cqc report um which you'll be familiar 
deal with, um, but note some of the key elements here. We've got 300 words. Um, we've got a headline. There we go. Brad, Brad Bonancy, care home staff, praise for going extra mile in the CQC report. You've got quotes from the families, and staff, and perhaps the manager. Um, you know, a good CQC report um, is often a chance to make sure that you get great press coverage. As a state headline, you're giving the journalist the headline, you're writing the story for them. There are particular ways that you can write good CQC report press releases. Um, but uh, essentially what you're doing here is writing the story on a paper journalist. Here's a second example. Again, 300 words. Headline, give us your story. Give us your story. Well, here we've got a mum and daughter from Litchfield who are thrilled uh, to hold hands on Mother's Day after being separated for almost a year. This is actually around about the uh, end of the COVID restrictions where um, you know the, the, this particular care home I wanted to celebrate how it was, it was bringing families back together again. Um, and again, the same principles apply. You've got 300 words. You're writing the story on a plate. You've got a great headline. You've got quotes from your manager, families and staff. There's often a human interest element. Remember, this would be in company with good photos. Um, but you see at the end here, see where my cursor is. You've got a little bit of a background to the home, which is what's called a boilerplate. It's good to have that here um, that where my cursor is again uh, about the home but that's just information what you've got the story is all here and uh, second example of writing the story on a plate for the journalist so they copy and paste it now you may be wondering i hear it often oh i've not not our uh, home's not good enough stories so you have got great stories i know if i walked into any one of your care services right now i'd have two maybe three maybe four stories within 45 minutes that i I know would get you great press coverage. So I want to give you um, examples. So to be clear, you do not need to have dedicated activities or events to get this coverage. Let me zoom in here. Um, let's hope this all works. So this is, you're getting a little peep here into um, our own database of tried and tested uh, news releases. Uh, there's, there's dozens of them here. But just to give you a flavor, this one, a flavor of what the story is about. A pack of visit. Um, you have a family. Uh, family working in the care home, entertainer, um, story about cook, um, a personal story about, in fact, this is a nice one about the story about how a carer was looking after his grand, her granddad and eventually um, that inspired her to become a carer. So let me just come into the real life through examples. Remember, these are all with great photos. Put questions in Q&A as we go. But, you know, cracking headline um, and uh, the story of um, these alpacas visiting um this particular home um, and again the human interest would have been brought in because a pet therapy is important memory and reflection and reminiscence are often activity another example here love these kind of stories whereby you have staff celebrating and talking about why they love care so much and i know you have these stories a hundred percent this particular home again there's no events going on here it's just finding out what care home is doing so well and what its staff are doing so well and this case you've got three family members who love care so much they worked in the same care home uh, and here we have a personalized care so a care home going out of its way to make sure one of its residents uh, who loved Ipswich Town went along to see that they match. So really powerful um, stories and no particular events organised. Just making sure that you reap and take out those good news stories that are already happening within the co in the home. To be honest, you know, the skill that we have as former journalists, we can find those stories. But you know, you can also do it yourself. So let's go back to where we were. Um, photos. Yes, 100% photos make a big difference. Get great photos. Uh, you can see here in makes a difference uh, between the, literally the amount of coverage you get including online now secret number three when you are pitching to journalists please make sure you get personal distribute in uh, your news releases to named individual journalists not to a generic news desk find out who those journalists are you can do that you can ring them the papers up you can ring the television station up you can ring the radio up find out who they are get their individual email you can do that and then um, phone them as I mentioned to 
find the names of those individual journalists. And you can find the names of those individual journalists by email, um, sorry, by phone them up, or even social media channels. The BBC television uh, journalists are very easy to find on social media. They have uh, their own Twitter handles. So get personal. And when you are pitching these stories to them, make sure you follow up. I say to my colleagues often, make sure you follow up to the desk. Sounds nasty, but it's not. It means that you are doing your best to make sure the journalist has got and received that story you are pitching to them. Questions, please, as we go in Q&A. So what that means is because there's many reasons a journalist might not even get the story. It goes into junk. It goes into, um, they glance at it. They've not really given enough attention to it. Or they're on holiday. A colleague is taking over their, um, their role. So the only way you will know if a journalist has received uh, that pitch you've made to them is to follow up and get yes, no, or maybe. That's what often I tell my colleagues. The rewards are all in the follow-up. And it's also a great way to get to know your journalist. Next, we're moving on to the Facebook on fire. You remember I talked about at the very beginning how digital uh, is so important to you in terms of making sure that good news stories are spread far and wide. Digital channels and Facebook is the key mechanism for you to do that because you can target people in your local areas. Um, and there are ways and means of making sure that great story that's got into the press is also hitting tens of thousands of people via Facebook. We tend to use a lot of um, emoticons um, and just look at the numbers here of likes, 634 likes, 98 comments and a huge amount of shares. And it really works well is when that Facebook story is on fire using Boost, maybe 150 quid, something like that, to get your target audiences that's here within your catchment area of your home to be commenting, engaging and sharing. Um, and when it's really on fire, the Facebook algorithm is going wild, that the audience loves this story, go out of its way to propel that story even further. Um, here's just a sample of some of the, the extraordinary comments, there were 98 comments to this particular story. So just to conclude here, it's the PR, you're going to get the press coverage, but you want to make sure that same story is on fire on Facebook by the boost and using the skills of a storytelling to make sure that Facebook does its best to promote your story. So I want to give you an example here of really when it goes on fire, this is a particular home that was celebrating its dementia initiative and a particular campaign, yes, you read that correctly, went viral and reached 13.8 million people, a good news uh, story and uh, 51,000 comments. And I'm going to show you here, take a look at this, it's absolutely for real. I think here is the example. Uh, here is the post, it was actually part of a fundraiser raising campaign about how staff were wearing pajamas at night uh, to assist any residents who had dementia who might have left their rooms at night and the by them being dressed in their pajamas reminded those residents that they it was night time and just look at the extraordinary number of likes 173,000 comments I mean it's ridiculous and 353,000 shares um, and this just gives you an idea of the kind of impact, extraordinary results from one Facebook post. And remember, these are all people sharing and commenting and celebrating with you your wonderful staff and your wonderful care. So um, I'm not saying that this will happen to you at any point soon in terms of the numbers, but when it is on fire and when you do get it right, then you can just see the extraordinary impact it went on and all extraordinarily. So um, we're doing pretty well. We have said 20 minutes and we are 20 minutes. Um, so please put your questions in the Q&A now and I'll make sure that I will come to them. I'm just having a peek now to see what we have coming in. Put your questions please in Q&A. Um, now, here's what care operators say about us, how we uh, work on PR for care providers and I want to say thank you. Now finally if you would like to know if these PR and media exposure strategies can work for you then please apply for a free 30 minute PR roadmap call uh, just via Zoom. Just email roadmap to hello at springer-pr.com or 
text roadmap to that mobile number and uh, happily give you a free 30 minute PR roadmap uh, Zoom. Find out how these particular strategies can work for you. So thank you very much for your time. Um, I've got uh, one question here, Joe, about the press coverage, sorry, television coverage and uh, how to get television coverage, which is actually a very good question because um, uh, the regional television, that's BBC and ITV, once they have a good contact within a care home, you will find that they can become a great friend for you and a great avenue for you to get wonderful television coverage coverage uh, showcasing the great things that your care home does we have many examples of that maybe some of you maybe have them yourselves already um but essentially it is uh, worth cultivating that relationship and making sure when you have these good news stories that you find that there's television uh bbc and itv in particular uh, regional television journalists uh, you can phone the, to get their details you can phone up the stations um and as i mentioned you can find them on their social media handles, uh, such as Twitter handles. They often will have a Twitter account and they'll give you their email addresses where you can email them. Another little secret, uh, another little tip here is when you are uh, pitching to the regional television, BBC and ITV, try and get through to um, the planning or production departments of your um, TV channels. The production or the planning departments are those who editors, they plan what's going to be featured as news on those channels in the forthcoming days and weeks. And they are the ones who, if you can get a great relationship with and get their details, they are the ones who are advising and t often telling the journalists, these are the stories that you need to be covering either today or in the next forthcoming days. That's so they're really, really useful to, to get in touch with. Um, and I do repeat, if you get a good contact, uh, particularly on the BBC, regional BBC, journalists, you will find that they will come back to you um, proactively seeking your advice. And then also you're going to become a care expert for them. Same again goes for the BBC radio. Uh, once you have that contact, they will come to you. It can be a way for you to position yourself, help elevate yourself as a local, a regional, expert in care and that was a great question thank you very much i just want to see if you've got any more questions here um coming into the the q a um uh, one thing i just do want to add as well is i do repeat it is possible for every single care home individual care home to secure coverage once every six weeks through um two months um and i would encourage you to make sure you you attain that especially if you are wanting to promote your home and to get notes and to be seen and written about as a great provider of care uh, for particularly those two reasons that I mentioned at the top. So um, let me just see if we've got any other more questions coming in. I think we've covered everything. So once again, thank you so much for your time. If you would like this free PR roadmap again, email me at that email or else uh, text me on that mobile phone number. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.